so many people tell you that you should be hitting an overhead over the top of your head, but I'm gonna tell you that's completely not true. We're gonna go over two really important factors that are often missed when working on the overhead that are gonna dramatically improve your overhead so that you can have more confidence at the net the next time you're out there. We're gonna look at three different videos, one from Novak, one from Fed, and one from Isner. And we're gonna point out two distinct things that are gonna make a huge difference for you. Let's dive right in. So let's break in and start with Novak. So the two things that I really wanna focus in on are the left arm and where its positioning is and the contact point and where its positioning is. When we start to look at the left arm, and this is for if you're right-handed, just as we go through, just if you're left-handed, then switch it. It would be your right arm. But your non-dominant arm for Novak, left arm, when he puts his left arm up, he's not just pointing at the ball. His left arm is actually to the right of his face. It's not right in front of his face, just pointing up. It's actually positioned so that he's looking over his shoulder or over his bicep area. And that is really, really important when you go up for the overhead because so many people just put their arms straight up or point at the ball and not actually position to where if we were to say stop right when the ball was coming down, Novak would be able to catch the ball because it's coming into his hand from that position. You want your left arm and your left hand to be over towards where you're actually going to be making contact. And the second thing as we go is you're going to see the contact point. Now, his contact point which is right here, is over his hitting arm, over his right shoulder. It is not over the top of his head. And that's really important to understand that so many times we call it an overhead and that means people think, oh, I should be hitting over my head. But you're actually making contact over your hitting arm, which is to the right of your head. And that's really important because that's gonna be where you can get the most pronation, more, most um, leverage on your shot and, and on your overhead. If you're hit, making contact over your head, it's very awkward and you're not gonna be able to get the leverage that you're looking for. So now we're gonna look at Isner. And we're gonna look at those same two things that we talked about, left arm positioning, the non-dominant hand positioning, as well as your contact positioning. So again, the left arm, as you can see from this position, and this is a great one because it's directly behind Isner, you can really see that his left arm is to the right of his face. He's looking out over his shoulder to see the ball that's coming up. And then he's positioning, you can see right here where he would be able to catch that ball in his left hand and it would be pretty much in the position to where his hitting arm is going to be right when he's making contact, which is again to the right of his head. It is not over his head. And those two things are very, very important, as we said, when thinking about the overhead. From the very beginning, the left arm positioning, making sure that it is to the right. And if we were to say pause right now in Isner's stroke, the ball would come down into his left hand. The last person we're gonna really look at is Fed. And on the first thing you're gonna notice with the left arm, again, to the left side of where he's going to make contact. He's looking out over his bicep, over his shoulder, and if we were to say pause right here, the ball would come down directly into his left hand. Then from there, we're gonna look at the contact point, which is the same spot that the left arm was in, right over the hitting arm. If I were to draw a line from his shoulder up to this ball, it is almost straight over the hitting arm. Those two factors for the overhead of the left arm or the non-dominant arm being too the right side of your body, making sure that it's towards where you actually are gonna make contact. Now, whether you point or whether your arm is open, it's fine, but the fact is, is that you're not just pointing at the ball with your body turned forward. Your body's turned sideways and your arm is not in front of your face. It's actually over to where you want to make contact with the ball. Then when you actually are making contact with the ball, making sure that you're making contact over the hitting arm and not over the top of your head so you get the most leverage that you're absolutely gonna need 
for being able to win more points with the overhead. And by doing these two things, you're gonna have so much more confidence the next time you're at the net and be able to feel like you can actually put away your overhead.